According to her granddaughter, Princess Alice of Athlone, Queen Victoria never said, we are not amused. In fact, she had a wonderful sense of humour, and far from being staid or judgmental, she was remarkably open-minded. When a certain German princess was found to be pregnant by a footman, her family all but disowned her. But Queen Victoria, with great sympathy for the poor girl, encouraged the Duchess of York to be seen in public with her to show her support. Again, when her granddaughter, Princess Mary Louise, found herself unjustly accused of deserting her homosexual husband, Queen Victoria took complete control of the situation, showing the unfortunate princess nothing but tender concern and understanding. Her romantic nature could never resist a love story, and when told that a Hanoverian princess had been refused permission to marry a man deemed beneath her, Queen Victoria offered the couple a home in England. In the same way, when the Prussian court objected to the marriage of Princess Victoria of Hesse to Prince Louis Battenberg, the son of a morganatic marriage, Queen Victoria made a great effort to attend the wedding to show her support. Several of the Queen's granddaughters recorded accounts of the beauty of her laughter and the childlike joy she found in such simple pleasures as a circus performance or a theatre production. She particularly enjoyed picnics, and every afternoon, whatever the weather, she made a point of spending time outdoors. She loved fresh air, and oblivious of the cold, kept the windows of her palaces wide open, often to the distress of her shivering attendants. Although a firm believer in God and the Church of England, the Queen had no time for excessive piety. She believed with a simple faith, and she opposed all forms of show or bigotry. The religious feasts of her Indian servants were kept with great reverence, and she frequently wrote to her generals and viceroys, urging them to respect the different beliefs, faiths and cultures of people throughout the empire. Unfortunately, her instructions were often ignored. As shown in the previous video, Queen Victoria despised racism, shocking her grandson Prince William of Prussia by placing the Queen of Hawaii higher than him in the order of precedence at her Golden Jubilee celebration. The Queen had a great fondness for animals, and she opposed any form of cruelty to them. In childhood, her dog had been one of her closest companions, and even on the day of her coronation she returned home to bathe her King Charles Spaniel Dash. Throughout her life, she was constantly surrounded by dogs, who were so much a part of the family that they appeared in paintings, and, of course, as with everyone she loved, when they died she commemorated them in statues. It is touching that one of her last requests was to have her little dog brought to her deathbed. <laughs>